Welcome to the hottest show on Wager Talk TV over the last seven days. The selections I've given out here on the Power Five have gone an incredible 21, 9, and 3. That's 70% winners. Go ahead, smash that like button if you've been enjoying these free winners here on Wager Talk TV. I've got five more for you, of course, today. Three in MLB and an early look for week one of college football. As a reminder, you can always comment down below as well with any questions or thoughts on these selections for Monday. Before we get to MLB, I've got some La Liga to discuss this afternoon. This is how we're going to lead off the Power Five. Yesterday, my soccer game of the week was in La Liga, and that was a winner with Real Madrid win to nil. Today, a more straightforward bet, and that's going to be Villarreal money line. Round minus 115 against Celta Vigo. This is mostly a fade of Celta Vigo, who's quite fortunate to have won each of its first two matches. They lost the XG battle in both. That's expected goals. Uh, had to come back from being down a goal in both as well. I would be shocked if Celta Vigo is able to make it three straight wins on the bounce to start the year. Now, I suppose we do have to worry about the possibility of a draw here, especially because today is going to be Villarreal's third match in the last seven days, an early uh, fixture pile up here. But I am confident the Yellow Submarine get all three points. They've got the better squad overall. They've been more active at the transfer window. So Villarreal at home on the money line to start your Monday. That is a 3.30 Eastern start. All right, let's move to Major League Baseball. The first of three totals I've got for you on today's show is over nine in Yankees Nationals. Yankee starter Nestor Cortez he has not allowed any runs in back-to-back -back outings. Went seven innings both times, allowed just three hits both times. But one of those was against the White Sox, uh, barely a major league team at this point. And the other was against the slumping Guardians. I believe that tonight is a good time to sell high on Cortez, who has a 5.45 ERA and 1.43 whip on the road. Those numbers, both significantly higher than what we see from Cortez at home. The over is also 7-1-1 and one in Cortez's last nine starts. Only two of those nine games didn't see at least nine total runs. One of them being the aforementioned one against the White Sox, lowest scoring team in all of MLB. And then you look at the starter for the Nationals, Mitchell Parker. He's just two starts removed from getting really roughed up. Allowed nine runs in just three innings. That was against the Phillies. I bring this up because the Yankees have a similarly strong lineup. In fact, the Yankees are number one in the American League at runs per game, guys. I don't have much faith in that Nationals bullpen either. Should be a warm night in the nation's capital with the wind blowing out. Give me the over in Yankees Nationals. I like the under nine in Blue Jays Red Sox tonight. Now, just to clarify something, these teams are playing two games on Monday. First, they're going to be resuming a game that was suspended back uh, in May because of rain. That's going to be a 2.05 Eastern start. We're not going to worry about that one. We're instead going to focus on the regularly scheduled game at 7.10 Eastern, where it's Jose Barrios going against Nick Pavetta. Now, I know Barrios has not been as good on the road, but he's coming off three consecutive quality starts overall, so he's in good form. He's allowed two earned runs or less in five of his last six starts as well, so not just a short-term thing. We all know Boston doesn't score as many runs at Fenway as they do on the road. On the other side for Boston... Nick Pavetta actually owns the best stuff plus rating in all of baseball. It's going to be a surprise to many of you. And it's very interesting, at least to me, that his ERA over the last three starts is 6.14, which is not good, obviously. But his whip in that same stretch is 1.09, which is good. So Pavetta's been really unlucky in the sense that he's not allowing many base runners, but the ones he has allowed tend to score. Better luck this time around for Pavetta. I think it's a good time just to sell Toronto in general after they swept the lowly Angels. Uh, might be a time to buy Boston after they got swept by Arizona. Regardless, I like the under nine in the regularly scheduled game between Boston and Toronto tonight. You may want to monitor the respective bullpen statuses after that first game, of course. All right, third and final total in Major League Baseball for Monday. I'm going to go with the over eight in Braves Twins. Guys, Braves starter Max Fried has a walk problem. He only had one his last time out. However, there have been 11 different starts this season where Freed has walked at least three batters. Why is that so significant? Well, coming into the 2024 season, Freed had just 10 outings with three or more walks in his career. Minnesota, very good against left-handed pitching. Freed's a southpaw, of course. Uh, how good is Minnesota against left-handed pitching? Well, third in batting average and number one at home 
in WRC Plus against Southpaws. So the home team should definitely put up a crooked number in this one. As for the Braves, they do have to get go against Bailey Ober, who's been as good as any starter in baseball over the last month or so. However, typically, Ober's been a fly ball pitcher throughout his career. Atlanta, their lineup's been disappointing, but they're still fourth in home runs this season. Weather seems conducive to the ball flying out tonight at Target Field as well. So I'm looking over eight here as well. Don't be surprised if Ober gives up a home run. Hopefully there's one or two guys on base for Atlanta when that happens. If that's the case, should be a very easy over there in a battle of playoff hopefuls. All right, just gave you three MLB totals, but if you want my top MLB total for Monday, you can head on over to wt.buzz slash BP, where I've got a 4% best bet. And it's only $5 as part of Customer Appreciation Day at Wager Talk. I'm coming off a 2-0-1 weekend for my clients. That includes winning a MLB total. It was the over in Rockies-Yankees on Saturday. That bet cashed in the seventh inning. They had combined for nine runs in the first five as well. So really feeling good about tonight's loan play. That's currently my best bet. Uh, you can get it again, wt.buzz/bp. Again, just $5. Customer Appreciation Day at Wager Talk. Uh, it's not just me. All your favorite handicappers should have $5 plays at the site as well. Uh, there's also time to still grab my 5% college football win total. Since December 2022, I'm hitting 70% with all plays rated 5% in college football. Speaking of college football, here's an early look for Saturday. We're going to go Arizona minus 30 and a half versus New Mexico. It's a big number to lay, but this is a horrendous spot for New Mexico, who blew a double-digit lead and lost in Week 0 to FCS Montana State at home. I've got the Lobos rated as the second-worst FBS team in the country right now, ahead of only Kennesaw State. Interesting trend active for this one. Teams playing their first game of the season against the team playing its second game of the season. That, the team playing its first game has cashed well over 60% the last few seasons. Arizona, speaking of cashing, they were in ATM last year. 11-2 ATS. They covered the number in eight of their last nine games, including the Bull. I know the coach is gone. Jet Fish off to Washington. But quarterback Noah Fafita is back. I think new head coach Brent Brennan wants to make a statement late night in Tucson this Saturday. Lay the points with the Wildcats here. This one should get ugly in a hurry. Let us now recap the Power Five for Monday, August 26th. La Liga, Villarreal money line over Celta Vigo. That's 3.30 Eastern. Number two, first of three Major League Baseball totals today is over nine in Yankees Nationals. Number three, under nine in Blue Jays Red Sox. That's the second game. Number four, over eight Braves Twins. And number five on the Power Five today, Arizona minus 30 and a half versus New Mexico Saturday college football. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Don't forget to drop your favorite bets for Monday. Also, if you already haven't done so, smash that like button. We agree. Uh, we always, always uh, love your support here on the program. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, do so now. Click that bell. You get instant alerts when all your favorite shows drop. Speaking of your favorite shows, not only do I do the Power 5 daily here on Wager Talk TV, but you can't forget about the morning wager every Monday through Friday with me and my good buddy, Mark Zitto. That does it for the Power 5 on Monday. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, you can find my picks at wt.buzz slash bp. You can find me on Twitter at, I believe they now call it X, actually. Uh, you can find me there, whatever you want to call it, at Brian Power underscore wins. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.